At the beginning of the story, we see a girl named Jaina who is going somewhere in a car with her friend. She tells her friend that I like you and we will get married soon. But then suddenly her car has an accident in which Jaina's friend was killed. While Jaina survives in that accident, she was deeply traumatized by this incident. She was not able to come out of it. After which the story was shown three years later. We see Jaina again, who is slowly trying to forget her grief. Now she comes to a place with her childhood friend named Ren. Ren introduces her to her other two friends. She also says that Jaina, we are going on a great trip from here. You also come with us, you will feel good. After which they all sit in a boat and come to Ren's friend's uncle's cabin. Everyone was going to spend a week here. Ren's friend takes them to his uncle's house, where she gives everyone liquor to drink. But Jaina refuses to drink it. After which she came to the cabin. Here she sees her medicines, which she was taking after her friend's death, because she was deeply traumatized by his death. She was a victim of depression, but now she gives her medicines and keeps them back, because she did not want to spend her whole life on medicines like this. She thinks that I can live without them. Everyone eats together at night. Ren's friend's uncle tells her that there is a festival every year in our town, in which a party is also held. So I have also got your invitations ready. You also go there. I hope you will go there and have a lot of fun. Ren's friend tells her uncle that okay uncle, I will come to the party with my friends. After a while Jaina comes out, and Ren's friend's uncle starts playing with the dog that was kept. When her eyes fall on Ren's friend whose name was Michael, so he was taking something like a drug from uncle, then Ren also comes. Ren actually liked Michael. She tells Jaina that Michael has started taking a lot of drugs these days. He does not listen to me at all. I feel very sad. Then Ren's friend's uncle comes. She was telling Ren and Jaina that you also come to the party. It will be a lot of fun. There Michael sees a golden room inside the house. He starts talking to his friend about it. A golden room is actually a room where a person can go and take a steam bath. That room is made of wood. And there is a lot of heat there. When Ren hears this, she looks at Jaina. She felt that Jaina was not liking all this. That's why she tells Michael and her friends that we should leave all this and go to the party. But her friend says no. First we will take steam bath and then we will go to the party. After hearing all this, Ren comes to Jaina. And she says, look, there is no compulsion with you. Do what you feel is right and good. But Jaina says no, I am fine. And I also have no problem coming to the golden room with you. Michael came to the golden room with his friend. Jaina is also ready to go there. She takes off her friend's ring before her neck, which she always wore in her chain. After which she comes to the golden room. She had two bottles of water in her hand. Ren also came to Michael in the golden room. When she goes there, she starts feeling hot. Because the temperature there was very high. Because of which the heat was very high. Ren's friend says that my uncle had made this gold himself. It took him a lot of time to make it. Some stones were collected here, which increases the heat. Because those stones are kept on the gas. If water is poured on them, then more heat spreads here. After a while, everyone starts sweating a lot by staying here. Ren's friend says that we should go out and take a bath in the river. All of them now go to the river and take a bath. And then they came back to gold. Because they were having a lot of fun doing this. Michael and Ren's friend were both out of gold. They drink a lot of alcohol. Because of which Michael was very high. He now tells Ren to go to his room with him. But Ren had refused him. Michael says, I know that you want to take care of your friend Jana. That's why you are not going with me, right? Saying this, he went to sleep in the room. And Ren again comes to her friend and Jana in gold. Where she tells her friend that Michael has gone completely crazy. He drinks a lot of alcohol. He is not conscious of anything. Suddenly he hears the sound of something falling. Then these people think that Michael must have fallen. Because he drank too much. Even then Ren says that I will go and see. As soon as she went to see, she opens the door. So the door was closed from the outside. Doesn't open at all. Ren's friend also, when he tries to open that door. So it still doesn't open. These three were very worried. And start thinking that if this door doesn't open, then what will happen to us? And how did it close? Ren also calls Michael a lot. But he doesn't listen either. These three think that I don't know what is going to happen now. Ren's friend says that the heat will increase here. Which can burn our skin. We have to get out of here soon. Ren's eyes suddenly go up. Where she sees a device. She asks her friend what this device is. He tells that it tells about the temperature here. Ren said that if we break it then who knows, the temperature here will be normal. Her friend says no, no. We can't do this. It will be of no use. If we break it then who knows, the heat will increase. That's why the three of them start thinking something else. Because they knew that they were badly trapped in this room. 
friend lies there and hits the glass of the door with a wooden spoon. But it was of no use. Because that glass doesn't break. Her friend tells Ren not to do this. It won't break so easily. Then he takes out a stone with the help of a spoon. And puts it in a wooden bucket. The stone had cooled down by doing this. Then he wraps that stone in a cloth and hits the glass of the door very hard. The glass was so strong that Ren's friend's hands started bleeding. But the glass doesn't break. But he still doesn't give up. And keeps trying. He finally broke the glass. Through which some fresh air starts coming in. The three of them were repeatedly breathing in the air coming from that hole. She also calls out to Michael. But her voice doesn't reach him. Then Ren's friend's eyes fall on the stairs outside. Which are in front of the door. This was the reason why the golden door was not opening. She thinks how she can remove this staircase. Ren's friend says that we have to do something. Jaina asks him how long can we stay here. Ren's friend says that we have got some fresh air. Because of which we can stay here for some more time. But in a little while the heat will start increasing here. Before that we have to find a solution. He ties that stone in a cloth. And tries to remove that staircase by pulling out his hand. But this is of no use. Because that stone was not sticking to the stairs. Ren says that why don't we break that device. By which the heat will stop here. His friend says that this is not a good idea. Nothing like this will happen. I am sure that by doing this the temperature will increase here. But then he got another idea. He says to Ren that I am going to break the bulb here. By which the system will fuse. And it is possible that the light of the whole house will go off. By which the gas and temperature of this room will also stop. He now takes that wooden spoon and puts it in the bulb fuse. Because of which the light of the whole room was turned off. But Ren's friend also wakes up due to the electric shock. Seeing this, Jaina and Ren were more scared. And they try to bring him to his senses. It is shown outside that Ren's friend's uncle was preparing for the same festival. About which he had told all this. He also had a dog with him. Which he says to roam around. There they had a fight in Sona. No one had come to help them yet. Their condition had worsened a lot. Ren says to Jaina that forgive me. I only brought you on this trip. But I did not know that all this would happen here. Then she hears the voice of her uncle's dog. Which was screaming loudly. So that the dog finds out about them. And he can help them. The dog started barking loudly after hearing his scream. Michael was also outside. Who was now awake from sleep. He is surprised to see the dog barking like this. Inside, Jaina and Ren hear Michael's voice. And they shout for help. Now before Michael could hear their voice. There was a fire there. And their voice could not reach Michael. Now the dog runs to its owner, that is, to its uncle. He was also trying to tell them. That they need help. But they also do not pay attention to their dog. On the way, they meet Michael. Uncle asks, didn't you go to the party? Michael says no, I did not go. Because I drank too much. Because of which I fell asleep. And I fell asleep. I think my other friends have gone to the party. And now when he goes to the party. Then he is not allowed to go inside. Uncle tells him, what happened? Don't be sad, come home with me. I will give you something to drink. So now Michael also goes with them to the house. They're in Sona, the three of them. Now the drinking water was also over. They were very thirsty. Ren now gets up, and goes to break that device. By breaking it, his friend had refused. Jaina also does not like this. She stops Ren, don't do this, when she does not listen to him. So Jaina, to stop Ren, he had hit a stone in his head. She fainted. Jaina also gets very scared seeing all this. And thinks, what did I do? Jaina got angry. She breaks the device in anger. Due to which the room temperature. It seems to increase more. Outside, Michael and uncle. Both are sitting and smoking cigarettes. Because they felt. That the three of them have gone to the party. But they did not know this. That they are in such a big trouble. Ren's friend inside the room. Starts doing crazy things. Seeing which Jaina was very scared. Now he gets up and starts separating those stones, due to which there was heat in the room, when he was doing this, then there was a gas explosion there, he was completely burnt by the fire, due to which he dies, and the door opens due to pressure, Jaina runs towards the door, she drinks water from the fridge first, and then she goes to the room, and eats her medicines, then she hears Ren's voice, she felt, as if she was calling me, but then her eyes open, we know, that she was just saying hello, all this was her imagination, Really nothing like this happened. She sees that the door of that gold is still closed, and the three of them are still stuck there. She gets up and sees Ren, and stands in front of that gold. Because she was unconscious, she did this, so that Ren could get fresh air. Then she breaks that wooden spoon, and puts it in the gas chamber, so that more heat can't come out. After which, she herself becomes unconscious. We are shown Michael, who comes home and sees that my friend has not come yet. He waits for him for a while. 
and sleeps after smoking, then we were shown here, how the door of the last gold, was closed, when Michael, came out of that room, then due to him, hitting him, the stairs fell in front of that door, due to which the door was locked, because Michael, had drunk a lot of alcohol, so that's why, he was not conscious at all, he did not know, that due to this, his friend's life, could be in great danger, he did not even try to open the door, anyway, now when Ren's friend's uncle, comes near the gold, then his eyes, go to that hole, where Jayla, had made Ren stand, uncle understood, that the three of them, had not gone to the party, but they had been here for a long time, that's why he quickly, opens the door, and immediately, calls the police, they were immediately rescued, they were completely, treated, Ren's friend, was killed, due to the gas explosion, seeing this, Michael, becomes very sad, he sat in one place, and started crying, he thinks, that if I, had not drunk, had not been addicted, then today, my friend, would have been alive, Ren and Jayla, had been given oxygen, when Ren, holds Jayla's hand, then both of them, start crying, after that, we were told, that this is a true story, where in the same gold, three friends, were trapped, in which one, was killed, so the story, gives us this message, that always, stay away from drunken things, because who knows, you are in a state of intoxication, and someone, is calling you for help, but your intoxication, at that time, will not let you hear anything, and neither, will leave you capable of understanding, that's why always, stay away from bad habits, with this message, the story of this film, ends here, thank you, for watching.